Do you treat your dog as part of the family? <laughs> well, so do we. So why not celebrate your pup's birthday with the ultimate party box? Check us out on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Party Pup Info, and let us make your pup's party or any celebration perfection. So many legends in your career. Mm -hmm. uh, wh which wrestler would you say was your closest friend? Uh, every era was different. When I say every decade was different. Probably superstar Billy Graham. If you want to say, if, if anybody, superstar Graham. I met him in Houston, Texas. And then when he came to New York, he was a bodybuilder. And I went to the World Bodybuilding Federation, took pictures of him. And then I would pick him up at the airport and drive him to Boston and Providence and Connecticut and wherever. That was probably the the guy. But uh, then I was, close with, I was close with Steve Austin. I was close with The Rock. I was close with a lot of people in different times. The Grand Wizard, in the early, uh, in the 70s into the early 80s, until he unfortunately passed, friends with the Wizard, who then introduced me to the Sheik in Florida. I see he got the picture with the, the Rock. I remember him. He, he came up to me when he first came into the WWF, and he says, I know you my whole life. You photograph my grandfather. You photograph my father. If there's anything I can do for you ever, Please, you gotta you gotta ask me, but I, I didn't need to ask him. I I was okay. I'm not saying I know everything, but it was his offer. And then uh, every time he's seen me since then, and I was taken at the uh, Time 100. 100, he was one of the uh, Time 100 uh, greatest celebrities of, of that era. Mm -hmm. I believe that was two three years ago. And uh, when I saw him again, he gives me a hug every time he sees me. He, make sure they ask how am I doing do I need anything and what do I want we recently lost Scott Hall uh, your mm -hmm. memories of Scott Hall I saw a photo with uh, you at the beginning of Scott's career what's your memories of uh, the great race oh, he, uh, he was I knew him as Scott Hall with Kurt Hennig and uh, I, I remember going taking him after the matches we, I took him to a place called shout which was a 60s 70s club in this in, in 47th Street in the city and I took him all around to, to the Carnegie Deli I, I took him to a bunch of places after the matches and we just formed a bond we, he, he was just a great great guy then he became Razor Ramon and, oh yeah people say he had an attitude he had this he had that but but to me he was very nice and I reciprocated we, we were we were really friendly and I felt felt really bad you know, I, I don't want to say too much, but it's unfortunate what happened to him. Oh, yeah. To me, he was a great guy. He uh, he lived his part. He loved what he was doing. He was he was just was a sensation. Really, really uh, nice are you guy. Are you friendly with Billy Graham currently? Do you still speak to Superstar? I story? speak to him occasionally, but we're not. We have lost touch, so to say. Okay. okay. That's okay. it. There, there you go. Okay. Yeah, but... Uh, He's he's had different uh, you know he's had a lot of different things from injuries and different problems that he's had and uh, we are no longer that close like we were okay. but if I were to see him or he were to see me we'd still be tight. Do you know? you, do you think uh, Billy is kind of I don't know for lack of a better word like uh, ruining his legacy. <laughs> with his bitterness over the last yes, 10 I years. Do. Okay. Yeah, I definitely do. We kind of feel I that definitely way too. Do. And, uh, you know, like we drifted apart for that kind of reasons. I mean, really? you know, but, but yes, he had a, le he had a legacy and he was great and what he did when he did it, you know, um, he was the prototype of Hulk Hogan. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and all honesty, he was, he was, he was Hulk Hogan before Hulk Hogan. Mm. He had the pythons. He had the 26-inch pythons, and, he, and uh, a lot of people copied from him, including the governor that you're going to have on your show in a couple of weeks there you who go. copied Superstar Graham. At that time, a lot of people did. And prior to, prior to Superstar, there were very few wrestlers who had a muscular physique like that. There was Earl Maynard and uh, maybe Rocky Johnson always had a great body. But the wrestlers at that time were not known for their physique, for their body. They were uh, 
a lot of them were heavy and whatever, out of shape and characters. That was what wrestling was. And I think Superstar is the one who kind of changed it to the more muscular look. Do you think it was wrong to take the belt off him? Because he always bitches about that to well, this day. He bitches about it. But you know what? Everything has its time. They right. could have, they, 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 could they have gone longer with him? Oh, definitely. People were cheering him. And, mm. and, and to what I know, the, the McMahons didn't know how to control him. They didn't know what they, what they can do with him. They were afraid. They were afraid. They had something that was going to be bigger than what they are, you know. You know, as Mr. S Mrs. McGrath Senior and Vince Junior. Yeah. yeah. So you were in Madison Square Garden all those years. Uh, we had Bob Backlund in studio. We have this uh -huh. great respect for Backlund. Oh yeah. Uh, but you know, he got a bad reputation saying that he couldn't carry a card. You were in those Garden matches. You saw the crowd. Did you think Backlund? The people didn't. The people didn't come to see the undercard. They came to see the main event. I agree. The undercard was the icing on the cake. Right. That was the extra. But but all during that, that era, and I want to pick four, 74, 5, 6, 7, 8, WWF. They used to sell out the garden. Then they used to sell out the felt forum sure. on a screen mm -hmm. to watch it. So it wasn't like it, it wasn't that big. The MSG... Once a month was the was the pay per view, so to say, and right. they used to advertise. If you don't come, you ain't going to see it. You had to be there for if 